What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the slogan. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know how I roll. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Okay, what you are seeing here, my friends, is you're seeing a story being told being looked at via the broadbandbullies.com website all right go to broadbandbullies.com you can see the same article that i'm basing this video off of okay and what this story entails is that there is a rumor out right now that the xbox series x may support steam and epic store all right so Here's the thing, the, the, the story reads as this. This is a massive rumor suggests that the new Xbox Series X might support Steam and Epic Store. Now, how is that possible? Well, the rumor suggests that the new Series X will include a Windows mode that will allow you to use Steam and Epic Store just like a PC. Now, this is possibly this is possible by letting the Series X, according to this rumor, go in, into a boot mode called Windows mode, okay? And this will let your operating system change to Windows 10 and basically let you use your console like a PC. It also reads here in the article that if this rumor is true, it could be a game changer. However, we'll try to get more information about this in the future. For now, please take this with a grain of salt. Here's what I think about this. Um, I don't like the article suggests. I don't put a whole bunch of stock behind this being a feature that's coming because it's going to cannibalize game sales, right? And like, just imagine it. You can take your Steam games, you can download it onto your your. Uh, your console you can take epic games download them to your console and you can if you can get into windows 10 mode why not install chrome browser on there and play stadia games i mean the the, the, the thing is and listen and stream your pc i mean your playstation games via playstation remote on there you know what i'm saying using the playstation remote uh pc app you know i mean the the possibilities are endless and why would you do that that would cannibalize sales you know i mean i get that microsoft is windows windows is microsoft um you know and and this is this box is supposed to have a lot of power infused into it so it could it is capable of running like a pc if we are to believe all these rumors and the specs that have been released but again first and foremost this is a console and unless this thing is going to be six seven hundred dollars maybe even more i can't see microsoft taking a hit on the cost of the box and cannibalizing game sales you know by opening up a windows 10 mode unless and again this is purely speculative so again take this with a grain of salt that is unless they are willing to forsake game sales by a not taking a hit on the console, meaning you're going to get a $600 console or more, or by B, allowing this Windows mode to be operable behind a paywall. You got to remember, uh, not too long ago, Satya Nadella talked big about how he wanted to infuse all of the services that Microsoft has to offer. That includes Xbox. Uh, he was talking about, you know, 365 and, and, and somehow, you know, connecting that with the use of the gaming cloud platform or whatever, you know, and people joke, remember, I'm gonna be playing Gears while doing my taxes. Remember all that? So it's very likely and very possible only under a scenario like where it's behind the paywall there has to be some lucrative financial benefit for them to cannibalize game sales and particularly um third party sales i mean microsoft is making big money off third party sales so you, i'm no longer going to be i'm not i'm no longer going to be forced to play fortnite on my xbox console i can download the epic game store and do all my dlc purchases through there they're willing to forego that for xbox i mean for 
you know, Microsoft 360. I, I, I wouldn't understand what the ends to the means would be. And people say, don't worry about Microsoft money. No, no, like, I, don't, I never believe those slogans. That you, you don't worry about if they're maximizing their profit. You don't worry about that, but you do worry about the viability of the product and services they offer if they're doing stuff like cannibalizing sales <laughs> with any, without any clear cut benefit, then that would go to the veracity, the velocity of the, of the, of the team themselves and make you question, is this something I want to invest into? You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't, the, you, you got to question things like that. So it's not, no, don't worry about their pockets or what's the, don't do the wallet watch. I never believed in that, those goofy slogans. Okay. So if they were offering this, this would like raise eyebrows. But again, I said all of that to say this at the end of the day. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But again, that's me. And like I always tell you, that's it from your boy. However, who cares what I think? Let me know what y'all think about this article in the comment section below. And if you did like what I had to say, you can catch me in the corner of every boulevard, baby. Check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies and to the broadbandbullies.com site. We'll lead you to PNTS Network. We'll lead you to the Hard Knock Digital Culture, where we do game streams, highlight hardcore cinema, including martial arts and anime, and to the Stadia Dosage, the growing, fast-growing channel where I just had to give my fellow Stadia people a coming to Jesus speech for lack of a better term but it was great it was a great show check us out there at the stadium dosage and with all that said you all have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace